Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here, and today I'm gonna to be unboxing the T-Mobile Alcatel Fierce 4. So this has a 5.5 inch HD display, eight megapixel rear facing camera, five megapixel front facing camera, Bluetooth 4.1. Opening up the box, you get three plans to choose from, 40, 50, and a $60 plan. And then the device is just to the right of the box there. So I'm gonna be opening this up, taking a look at all the contents, and let's get straight into it. So let me go ahead and open up the back portion of the box here. Go ahead and remove the device and all the contents from this second package here. And there it is, the Alcatel Fierce 4. So actually this device feels like it has some good weight to it. Nice design there. And um, we're gonna take a closer look at this in just a moment, I'm gonna place it off to the side. You also get a T-Mobile SIM card that is included with the purchase. And then you also get a user's manual and a get started or terms and condition guide there. I'm gonna place that off to the side. You also get your charging brick with some Alcatel branding on it. And moving on from that, you get your micro USB data cable. So this is just standard micro USB. There's no type C or anything like that. I don't believe there's any quick charge on this device as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the device. So here it is, nice big display. So you got the screensaver on top of it. It just kind of points out all the functions of the buttons. You got the power button on the right hand side. Right below that is the volume rockers. On the bottom there is a mic and your charging port. Nothing at all on the left hand side of the device. And looking up on top, you got your headphone jack and a noise cancellation mic as well. So I purchased this device for $99 at my local Walmart. So I'm pretty sure you can pick it up for the same price as well. Take a look at the back. You got an eight megapixel rear facing camera flash. You got the sticker, which is uh, letting you know that you do have a non-removable battery on this device. So overall, it looks pretty nice. I like this kind of little kind of fake chrome metallic design going around the sides there. Again, this is an all plastic design, but it looks very, very nice. Nice rounded corners there. Now the back is removable. So let me go ahead and remove that and we'll take a look under the hood here. And taking a look is going to, uh, removing the back gives you access to your micro SD and your SIM card slot there as well. Now this has a non-removable 2,500 milliamp battery. So pretty decent sized battery. Um, Pretty much standard for Alcatel, uh, non-removable battery there. So I'm going to just kind of uh, place the backpack on and power this device up and see the internals and just kind of check out the setup process of the Alcatel Fierce 4. I'll kind of walk you guys through it. Let me go ahead and remove this back sticker here. There we go. Nice looking back. It has very similar to the Alcatel Pop 4S, kind of this brush metal type of look. It is plastic, but it looks very, very nice. Uh, nice smooth texture to it. Um, overall, I definitely like the way the device looks. It looks very, very nice. Like, let me power it on, peel off this front screen protector. It's on there pretty good. And there you have it, Alcatel Fierce 4 powered by Android. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely liking that. That bottom uh, home button is the notification light. So that will pulsate when you do get a notification. Uh, overall, a nice big 5.5 inch display, 720p resolution. We got the boot up animation here, T-Mobile. Now this also has two gigabytes of RAM and um, 16 gigabytes of expandable storage. So let's go ahead and go through this. Okay, so I got the device all set up and it's ready to go. So I'll kind of show you the app drawer here and all the pre-installed applications. I have not downloaded anything to this device. So uh, exactly what you're seeing is exactly how you're going to get it out of the box. Go ahead and take a look at the home screen here, holding down to get wallpapers, uh, color catcher. Uh, take a look at some of these pre-installed wallpapers here on the Octel Fierce 4. So all pretty, uh, pretty nice wallpapers. Putting down the notification bar here, you get some quick toggles there. Uh, you got flashlight right there as well. So this is very, very similar to the Alcatel Pop 4S, the device I had just reviewed previous to this one here. Let's go ahead and jump into settings here and kind of take a look. I don't believe this has NFC. Uh, no, it does not look like it has NFC. So just keep that in mind uh, if you were wanting to purchase this display. You got uh, adjusted brightness there. So you got screen mode option, daydream, uh, ambient display, auto rotate screen. So you got those options there in the uh, display settings there. So you can change font size if you'd like. 
Uh, moving on from that, you get the LED indicator, which I mentioned is the bottom home button that will illuminate when you get a notification. Now internally, out of the 16 gigabytes of onboard memory, I've used 5.75 gigabytes. So uh, exactly that's how it will be out of the box for you as well. You got some gestures there. So turn over to mute and then you got double tap to unlock and double tap to wake the display as well. Moving on down, we got some, let's see what else we got here. Go to about phone. Android version, so 6.0.1 out of the box marshmallow. So that's excellent. That is very, very good. It's gonna help optimize your battery. You got Doze on that. So you should get some pretty good battery life with this. Another great feature with this is you get video calling feature on this device. So I love these devices when they have the video calling feature. So that is included as well. Uh, overall, I really like the display. It looks nice so far. Um, not too much bloatware there. There is just a little bit of uh, T-Mobile Bloatware, nothing major. Seems pretty smooth for the most part. And um, I absolutely love this design on the Alcatel Fierce 4. It looks really, really nice. I mean, even though it's plastic, it looks very premium. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for more future videos and I'll talk to you on the next one.